Hey guys, um, welcome to my video again. Um, got this video tutorial on how to make this flame with a logo. Hopefully you've gone through my other tutorial how to make this sort of button and add the logo and make it glossy. I think I did part of that. Anyway, okay, so we'll get started. Um, I was just doing it before just to see if I could do it right. Didn't do too good, so let's see if we can get this one right. Um, okay, get your logo if you've done it. If not, you don't need that, but highly recommended you see my other tutorial or see some other tutorial or at least try it out yourself. Added. All you need is really a circle. Actually, you could do it on any sort of object. Alright, so basically just copy that onto it, onto a new layer, onto a new um, image, sorry. Um, make it any size you want. Preferably, oh, need a default setting. Alright. Make the background black by pressing Control comma if your foreground is black here. If it was this way, you'd press Control full stop. Um, but at the moment, we want it to be black. Uh, make a couple of layers. Um, press Shift and click this button here. Now, now all we need to do is copy that logo down onto there. Move it down by pressing M, which opens up this tool here. And you just click on and drag it down, or you can press the arrow keys, but it's a bit slower. That's only for like one pixel details, two or, or three. Um, now we need to scale it down. Make sure this is linked so it's to scale, unless you do want it to be just retarded, basically. Alright, um, so we'll move it about, yeah, that'll do. Alright, now, uh, anchor that down, because that was still selected on that layer, hopefully you did that. Um, we'll go to this layer here. Now, it doesn't matter what color too much because you can change it as long as it, it, as long as it has a color. It can be gray, but it can't be black or white because it's harder to um, colorize or to change the colors from that. Um, we should probably move that to the center a bit more. Yep, all good. Now, get the paint tool, press P on the keyboard or you can press um, this bu this button here which is the paintbrush obviously um, and you should have not fuzzy select actually oh no nah, it doesn't matter all right no s sorry my computer just froze um it should be the normal just circle tool circle um brush sorry um it depends what size you want really but you may have to change it if you stuff up. Anyway, um, so you got to vary between the two colors. Press X on your keyboard, and then press Shift to make it a line, and Control to make it a straight line. And about two more, maybe. You click there and do it again. Uh, one more time, maybe. If not, you can just go back and delete it. Um, all right. Now we need to go to the Smudge tool. Um, you need to make sure the scale's not too um, big or not too small and the rate isn't too much because otherwise I'll show you if it's too big it'll just either completely delete it or too small it just won't do anything so about 75 I had it yep anyway remember it won't look amazing when you first do it you can just colorize it after and just make it into a bit of a flame after that and m go from the bottom first because you need to make the flame, actually, make the bottom of this go to the start of that. Anyway, you can position it however you want. Um, or is it smudge? Okay. Yeah, and just keep, just, don't do it too much like I just did. See this part here, it's just completely transparent there. So I've done it a bit too much. Now, when you get to the top a bit, you might need to put right down a bit. Just keep going. But now, once we're in the middle, you need to keep bringing the center up. Make sure there's no more lines. Now I haven't done this in about a year, so well I've practiced it before, but it wasn't really much for practice. So 
forgive me if it's a bit stuffed up. You could definitely do better by yourself. But I'm just showing you a quick way how to do it. See how it's starting to look it's sort of a flamey look there. Alright. Now we should see that's a bit too much there, so we can get the eraser tool, get and put it onto the fuzzy brush and that should do it. And then so it's it's not deleting the whole just a circle thing, it's bit by bit, not completely. Alright, there we go. Now we should be able to color it from there. Um, I use these three mostly. These three, colorize, hue, saturation, and color balance. I use colorize first to get the exact color. Um, so probably orange is it? Yeah. Okay, it's in between there. Should be... And at the start off, it might be really crap. This one will be not good looking, but we can always change that. Um, color balance, which we'll just make to use to make yellow or redder. That is not a word, but yeah, a more ready tone or an orangey. That should about do it. Now, if it's not bright enough. Um, you can duplicate this layer because it's a transparent layer. It's only just going to make this brighter, this um, flame part here. So we can duplicate it, make it a bit brighter. Now, depending what you want, and if you've got your layer here, this isn't moving up, move it to the top and, yeah, just... Oh, actually, I forgot to... Oh... One second, I'll just pause it because my computer freezes a fair bit at the moment when I go to do the colors. So, all right, we'll just continue from here. Sorry, um, I just had to save it because it would freeze. I probably already said that. Um, all right, so we got to So you got to make this logo here colored, so it's got more of a color that you know sort of links in with it. Now you w you'd want to merge these these fire layers together so that you can if you want you can put it over the top which actually looks better than what I did before um, and whoop, and then multiply that doesn't work too well um, burn which no <laughs> don't worry I was doing it before when it wasn't done the color balance see here um, I'll merge these back down and put it above it and then when I dodge it it has sort of like a fire thing just on the on the red parts here and you can still see it here but you know it sort of I don't know it's kinda cool it's how my brain works anyway so there you go um, just have it how you want I hope you like my tutorial um, rate, comment, subscribe whatever the hell you want thank you